Good morning, Web Wildcats. I'm your host, Ryan Pace. Welcome to the morning announcements. I'm your other host, Lavina Koa. Today is Friday, December 3rd, and it's a B-Day on our schedule. Today's hot lunch is cheese and pepperoni pizza. Today we celebrate International Day of Persons with Disabilities. International Day of Persons with Disabilities is a day to help everyone become more compassionate and understanding of the challenges faced by people with disabilities. The spirit of the day is to ensure that all people in the world have an equal opportunities for work, play, health, and success. People with disabilities can be very often are contributing and valued members of society, and today is all about appreciating them. Understanding Disabilities. I like to play basketball. How about you? I like to talk. How about you? I love hanging out with my friends. How about you? Mia was born with muscular dystrophy. Basically, that means some of her muscles are getting weaker rather than stronger. Ian's legs aren't strong either. That's why he uses a wheelchair. He may not be able to run up and down the soccer field, but he's really good at drawing. In fact, he's really good at a lot of things. A disability is a condition that affects a person's body or brain. Mia and Ian have disabilities that you can see, but some people have disabilities that you can't see, like me. Amber has dyslexia. This causes letters on a page to look scrambled. It takes her longer to read and learn than her friends. And sometimes I have to leave the classroom to get extra help from a different teacher. But you know what? She doesn't need any extra help on the basketball court. She can even dribble between her legs. We're all alike in some ways and different in other ways. That's what makes us special. I like being me. How about you? stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for the web way to be. At Webb Elementary School, we believe in the web way to be. We are responsible, we are respectful, we are productive, and we keep ourselves and others safe. Please take your seat. A very happy birthday to Gerda Lesky, CJ Silver, and Arav Ritish. Today's Wildcat of the Day is Tommy Gamble. Tommy has a huge, kind heart. He is always ready to help a friend and tries his very best each day to show the love way to be. Tommy has been working very hard on his reading and writing in first grade. He is a phonics professor and isn't afraid to read and write new words. Way to go, Tommy. Keep up the hard work. If you see Tommy, be sure to say congratulations. Congratulations! Let's watch a video from Mrs. Carlson and Mrs. Johnson to celebrate these students who earned certificates in Lexia, Reflex, Extra Math, and Freckle. Hi, I'm Mrs. Carlson. And this is Mrs. Johnson. Hi! <laughs> I am your math consultant and she is your reading consultant. And we are here to celebrate you. You've done so wonderful this past month of November. So wonderful that we decided we needed to celebrate and say your name. So I am going to be talking about the reflex math certificates. Um, and teachers, if you have any freckle or extra math certificates, please have your students come on down. I have a wall outside of our classroom that they can sign. Um, to show all of their math academic achievement. We're so proud of you. So for our reflex certificates, I'd like to celebrate Matea and Trenier, both in Mrs. Vaskanov's class for receiving reflex certificates. Analia in Mrs. Um, Gilberto's class 
she also received a reflex certificate. Gahazi and Ricardo and Jackson and Armani, Mary Ellis, all in Mrs. Olson's class have received reflex certificates. Come and see me so you can get them. Esmeralda, Alyssa have received them from Miss Macaluso's class. So proud of you girls. Alex in Mr. Silver's class. Jacob in Miss Vidium's class. Jacob's received a lot of certificates. Melanie and Matthew Hahn in Miss Gavola's class have also received some math reflex certificates for their outstanding math facts. I'm so proud of you. And here is Mrs. Johnson to talk about your reading certificate. Hi, Web Wildcats. This month on Lexia, we had a lot of our students move up a level, and I want to make sure that I say their names. You'll be able to come down to my office to get your certificate if your teacher hasn't already printed one for you. In Mrs. Garcia's class, we have Dante, Kiernan, Connor, and Annabelle, who all moved up one level. We have Riley, Emmy, Michael, Vidi, Lindsay, all moving up two levels. And we have Liliana and Canal moving up three levels. In Mrs. Ercolani's class, we have Lilia, Veronica, Madeline, Elliot, Harper, and Jenna all moving up one level. We have Nathan, Caitlin, Jackson, Abigail, and Andrew moving up two levels this month. And we have Luigi moving up three levels. Congratulations, kindergartners. In Mrs. Melanguagio's classroom, we have Juliana, Ashton, Jake, Mateo, Fiona, Amelia, Elijah, and Thomas all moving up one level. Christian moved up two levels, and Joshua moved up three levels. In Mrs. Wilson's class, we had Nora, Alex, David, Amel, Layla, April, Zara, Quinn, Angel, and Jackson all move up a level. Congratulations, first graders. In Mrs. Gilberto's class, we had Delilah, Brielle, Avery, and Manuel all move up a level. Emma moved up two levels, and Isra moved up seven levels. In Mrs. Voskanov's class, we had Emma Leshy, Ariana, Madison, and Alleluia all move up a level, and Emma Miller moved up two levels. Way to go, second graders. In Mrs. Macaluso's class, we had Esmeralda and Elijah move up a level, and in Mrs. Olson's class, we had Maxwell, Ashlyn, Helios, Valerie and Madeline all move up a level. Way to go, third graders. In Miss Dunham's class, we had Addison, Avery, and Anna all move up a level. Ariana moved up two levels, and Ikra moved up five levels. Way to go. In Mrs. Tashner's class, Caitlin, Emily, Emma, Garrett, and Sophie all moved up a level. Fourth graders are rocking it this month. In Miss Fidium's class, we had Xavier, Ardra, Macy, Nadia, Ariana, and Jeremiah all move up a level. And in Mr. Silver's class, we had Talia, Katie, Ryan, and Miriam all move up a level as well. Keep doing awesome work and trying your best. And if you um, haven't gotten your certificate, make sure you come down. And I look forward to next month when we can announce all the other Web Wildcats who are making so much growth. Oh, if you're looking for an extra math challenge, in the hallway, there's Math Facts. If you would like to complete a Math Facts in your hallway and bring down your page to me, you can also sign the wall outside of the classroom, too. Bye, Web Wildcats! It's time for the joke of the day. How do you make an octopus laugh? With tentacles. Let's take a minute to be mindful. This week's quote is, you'll always miss 100% of the socks you don't take. Wayne Gretzky.
It's time for another month of Golden Paintbrush winners. Congratulations to the kindergarten competition. The winner is Mrs. Ercolani's class. For the first and second grade competition, the winner is Mrs. Wilson's class. For the third and fourth grade competition, the winner is this is Macaluso's class. For the fifth and sixth grade competition, the winner is Mrs. Fidium's class. And the class with the most golden paintbrush stars for the whole school is Mrs. Fidium's class. An excellent job to everyone involved in showing the web way to be in the art room. Please send a student to the art room to collect a golden paintbrush award. Yay! Featured this week on School Spotlight is Julia Landsberg. This fifth grader is raising awareness about a program called Team Seas. Let's check it out. Hi, I'm Julia, and today I want to talk to you about something called Team Seas. Now, you might have already seen it on YouTube, but Mr. Beast and a bunch of other YouTube creators are working together to clean up 30 million pounds of trash from oceans, rivers, and beaches. And yes, I said 30 million. Every dollar you donate to this website, one pound of trash is removed from the ocean. If you donate $20, 20 pounds of trash are removed from the ocean. And if you donate $100, 100 pounds of trash are removed from the ocean. Donate now! Thanks, see you tomorrow. And have a sparkling day at Webs.